Hello and welcome to another ZBrush for iPad beginner's guide video tutorial. And today we're going to take a look at smoothing brushes. So I have this model over here that I sculpted on my iPad. And we're going to take a look at how to smooth certain areas of our models. So for starters, to engage the smoothing brushes, you just tap this top button on your widget. And you can see the brush change to the smoothing brush. You can access all of the smoothing brushes by pressing the brush palette and scrolling down until you find smooth. Obviously, if you know the exact name of your brush, and in this case, all of them start with the letter S, you can just scroll down to the S letter and you'll find every brush that starts with the letter S. Obviously, this will include other brushes such as the slice curve or the scribe chisel. So in the smoothing brushes, you have a ton of options. In this case, what all of them are saying is that they are going to smooth a certain section of your model. If I start smoothing on my mesh, it basically softens the surface of your model, dulling down any brush strokes that you had previously done to the mesh. Sometimes you want to avoid losing your form overall when smoothing. So maybe you want to go over to your smoothing brushes and you can do, for example, a smooth directional or smooth peaks. And this, in essence, what it's going to do is it's going to smooth just the high points of whatever you're doing. So if I do this now, same brush, same size, you can see it's smoothing a lot of the areas, but it's retaining those crevices and those cavities. So there are multiple smoothing brushes that we can take a look at. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can have like smooth stronger, for example. In this case, our mesh has like over 3 million polygons almost. So this is not going to smooth a lot unless you have like a very strong brush. So if I do this with a smooth stronger and just start smoothing, you can see it starts smoothing way faster than the default smoothing brush. And again, like with most brushes, once you engage with the brush, you can let go of your widget and it will still smooth. Sometimes when you let go of the widget, it does smooth with a different algorithm. So you can get a different result by doing this and then letting go of your widget. Also, if you want to smooth, engage with the brush and then press Alt. It's going to do Alt Smooth. That's a different type of smoothing. So I hope you enjoyed this video on smoothing brushes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.